I offer personal readings same day for $33 and next day for $17. Check the description box below for details of how to book and subscribe to my bonus tarot channel at Val444Tarot and my vlog channel at Val Smib. Thank you. Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val33 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in here Virgo and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? All right, now keep in mind this is for Virgos who are single, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. Thank you. So this is like someone who shares a community with you, wealth, abundance possibly here for you, with you, Virgo. Don't know. For some of you, maybe it's family. It doesn't have to be though. This could be someone in their own marriage from a relationship outside of you or business ties and connections. Well, whoever this is, they're, they're pooping themselves or stressing out like crazy. Well, they start out, you know, not wanting to reflect or change anything that's going on in life with you and them. And uh, for the better, at least, right? And so they don't want to make positive changes. They're unhappy and miserable and pissed off at themselves and with you. But they still want to consider some options to figure out what they want to do with you, which is to create an opportunity here. So they want to offer you something. They want an opportunity with you in some way, shape, or form or a new chapter. But then that makes them kind of not be sure how, how they want to lie to you, how they want to skew it. They don't know if they want to manipulate, get aggressive, start some crap, or they, do they want to be neutral? Looks like if they're messaging you, it's nothing but lies so they can get information out of you. So they can manipulate you by using you with your own information you give them. Or they're stalking, spying, lurking, creeping for the sake of money, wealth, and abundance to use you for that. Okay? Um, and once again, it's like there's money, there's business, there's community, there's wealth, whatever they got going on there. Maybe they're in their own marriage or relationship, you know, maybe it's family for some of you. You guys are obviously connected business-wise or financial-wise or something here. It's someone in the community of some sort. Looks like that gives them a new chapter and beginning to basically drop all these burdens with you. Now that gets them kind of aggro and pissed off and like basically, um, what's it called? Um... What is the word? Not unhappy. Hmm, I don't know. They're just not happy with their own money, wealth, status, position of power. Like It's like they want more. They're greedy. They want more out of you somehow. So they're like, forget it. Let me take a break, go to sleep, take a nap, You know, figure this out myself, do my own thing. And it looks like they don't want to make any plans with you. And then that causes them to get in this energy where they're mad at you and they're emotionally disconnected and they're moody and going through ups and downs. Then they don't want to work on anything with you or work on their own job. Now they're stressed out and pissed off and aggressive at you. And that causes them to say they don't like you. They're not having fun with you. 
Then they want to be guarded and defensive and play the victim when they know they're in the wrong. And then they want to become cold and narcissistic and aggressive and not be trustworthy or faithful or of faith at all. And now they're pooping themselves, you know, literally just anxiety, stress, paranoia. Pain. They're just going through it. <laughs> That's really it. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And that's about it. Thank you.